Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a very important topic and uh, very much asked topic from my students. And the topic is, uh, what are the units of say standard life science syllabus uh, that they should start preparing first? And what are the units that they can prepare later, right? So this is one question. And the second question I get is that what are the easy topics or easy units of say standard life science syllabus and what are the difficult units for say standard life science syllabus right so easy difficult unit is something uh, mostly depend on personal preferences but what i can say what i can tell about is uh, the economic nature of a unit there are some units which are more economic that means you can devote less time and can extract more information out which is more economic and there are units where you need to invest more and more time but the result from that unit you can expect is so 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 those are less economical unit so instead of finding out difficult and easy unit it is better that we look for the most economical unit more economical unit and less economical units so here i am going to share that and I'm also going to share the units that one should prepare first and the unit that one should prepare later of their say Senate life science preparation. Now, this video is not about skipping units and I will, I generally don't recommend skipping units. If you have time, then read all the units because the syllabus is of 13 units. So you need to read and prepare all the units. If possible, if you have time, always cover the whole syllabus but the problem is that people don't have that much of time in a six month preparation like most of the students nowadays they say i can devote a long time i say how many hours they say three to four hours you see three to four hours is not long hour long hour means 10 hours 12 hours right so if you can devote 10 hours eight hours you can cover the whole syllabus in six months but if you can devote only three to four hours or even lesser in that case you need to rely on the skipping of units so skipping of unit is not prescribed but as you don't have time you need to stick to this protocol so the very first protocol i am going to share is that uh, the economical so more economical units and we are going to talk about the less economical units right more economical means you can expect more questions by reading and providing less time it will consume less time for preparing these units but uh, you will be ready to answer most of the questions such units are in this case unit 3 unit 5 unit 6 unit 8 unit 10 unit 11 unit so these are more economical unit uh, two also i would suggest two but the number of question asked is less so these are primarily the more economical units i would suggest three five six eight ten and eleven six to seven such units are more economical right so you can prepare this unit fast why i say you can prepare them fast somebody says that unit 5 is developmental biology how can we prepare it fast actually if you study these units and previous years question papers you'll realize that the questions are repeatedly asked from few areas of this unit so if you can prepare those uh, those topics or those area then you are well equipped to answer most of the question 90 percent of the question from these units Okay, so this six to seven units that I suggested are more economical in terms of preparation. Unit nine also will consume less time. So we'll add unit nine. So total eight units will be there. But in unit nine, it is memory based. Most of the question will be memory based. And there are questions related to uh, the cladogram analysis, which is not memory based. So cladogram analysis part, once you prepare, 
sure shot you will get one or two question in part c you can answer them so it is also becoming economical because to understand cladogram analysis i have a video in this channel just go through that video and the process is almost done and then you practice some cladograms within two days you'll be ready with answering cladogram and if you get two part c question eight marks that is economical right so that's why eight such units are economical in terms of your preparation while less economical units will be unit one unit four unit 7 and unit 12 and 13. Why I suggested that? Now 12, there are very less questions are there directly from 12. So 12 and 13 questions are mostly merged and unit 13 is huge, 7 is huge, 4 is huge and 1 is also big enough. So these are big, bigger unit, big units, right? So for preparing these big units, you need to invest lengthier time frame you need 13 the techniques from all the interdisciplines of life sciences so huge unit 4 has immunology cell signaling host pathogen interaction and cancer biology four components in unit 4 making it very very difficult and even immunology even requires two three months to cover and that is one part of unit 4 so you can expect one, two or max, two max three questions in part C in immunology. In worst scenario, you will get three questions, otherwise two questions in part C. So two questions in part C, for that you need to devote three months, not at all economical. Unit one is rewarding, biochemistry is rewarding, I will not suggest to skip biochemistry, definitely prepare biochemistry, but not economical because the questions from biochemistry are analytical and until or unless you prepare to that depth of knowledge, so that you can answer the analytical, experimental and mathematical questions, you are not ready with unit 1. So this is a simple division of economical and less economical units. So, so if you divide your 6 month preparation time frame, uh, you can prepare the more economical units in 2 months and lesser economical units in 4 months. In 6 month time frame like this or two months plus three months and one month keep kept for revision this is one thing that you can do okay now this is not about the number of questions that they ask right so economical and less economical is explained now the question is the second question that i receive very often is that which units should be prepared first and which unit should we keep for the later stages of preparation. So units for the preparation first and later stages of the preparation. So units that you want to prepare first. So there are two approaches that you can take. Two approaches I'm going to share. One approach is that you can prepare those units or topics which are more economical that means you are going to get more questions and you need to devote less time so the first approach is study more economical units first and then less economical units letter this is one way to go another approach the second approach that i want to share is that while we prepare all the 13 units a zoology student a botany student a microbiology student a biochemistry student all of them are appearing for the exam b pharma students also appearing for the cs and exam with the same syllabus so the syllabus coverage are different your subjective interest is different and your subjective preparation and uh, specialization was different so what you can do here is that so there will be some units which are on your arc on your zone of preparation you already knew about it and there are some units which are totally new to you so you can start preparing the units that you don't know or the units 
that you fear obviously first find out which units are important so i'll give you the list of units important 1 3 4 5 6 8 10 11 13 like this these are all very very important units actually all the units are equally important but this is something that this is my my personal preference actually so from all these necessary important units prepare units that you fear and prepare them first now many people may contradict my decision and they would suggest that why preparing the difficult or fearful unit first we should prepare units that we love to prepare now you can do that but in that case the problem is the units that you love to prepare which will be easy for you to prepare so if you keep the fearful units for the later stages while the exam is on board the exam is almost one month one and a half month away the units that you fear you cannot prepare them well and that is from my personal experience of one decade of CS100 online coaching provider I can tell you that it is always beneficial that if you prepare the fearful units earlier prepare fearful units earlier prepare them earlier because once you cover units which you feared earlier it will give you a sense of accomplishment which is good it will reinforce your thought it will give you a confidence boost with the help of this confidence boost it will be easy for you to cover up the topics that you already know because at the last one month one and a half month of your preparation two months of your preparation you would know that yeah difficult units are done the units that i feared were done so now the units that are remaining are, are not that difficult i don't fear them so i can easily prepare it by this one month two month time frame i can easily prepare that so that confidence you will have so so first there will be uh, this and here sorry this is one so these are two the second approach is that uh, for the later stages of preparation prepare known units so actually let's say if you are from microbiology background as i am from i was from microbiology background while preparing so from microbiology background if i if i select so the units that are not covered in our syllabus was unit 5 uh, that was unit 6 unit 7 unit 8 unit 9 unit 10 unit 11 so these units are unknown to me so I'd go with unit 5, unit 6, unit 8, unit 10 and 11 at the earlier stage of my preparation. I'll exclude unit 7 and 9 because they are less economical. Okay. Next we will move to the topic that is familiar to me. So that is unit 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 12, 13. So these units, I, as a microbiology student, I was familiar. So anybody from microbiology can relate. Unit 1 biochemistry, 2 cell biology, 3 molecular biology, 4 completely our unit, unit 12, 13. We are familiar with it. So we will prepare these units in the later stages of preparation because these are known unit as a microbiology candidate. The unknown unit as a microbiology candidate are the topics that, that you should prepare at the early stage of preparation. You can flip it around, but the result, what I found out with my students were not that good. The good result give or provided if they prepared the fearful units first and then in the later stages prepared the known units. So this is how you can start your preparation. This is how you can choose your units and you can choose your preparation guidelines. This sort of videos are very rare in YouTube. You will find multiple channels with multiple videos but the real to the point tip or advice is something that is needed and you will get all this free from this channel so please subscribe so that you get all these videos and share this video with your friends who are preparing for the CS and life science examination Shomo's biology online coaching is going on if you want to take admission then contact the given number 9804654228 visit our website www.shomosbiology.com or download our Shomo's biology application from google play store i'll see you in the next video thank you bye and also let me know what are the topics you want me to make videos on See you in the next video.